and you can easily see the dome shape. It's Hi like everyone, it's Chrissy from the Children's Museum in Easton, and I'm here at my house with my son Aiden. Hello. And we are here to share one of my favorite activities. This is Drops on a Penny. So the idea with Drops on a Penny is um, to see how many drops using, where's my dropper? Using a dropper, how many drops of water you can get to sit on a penny before it overflows. So the concept behind it is water surface tension. So you want to see, um, keep track of your drops and you wanna see how many you can get on there. You can make it a little competitive, see if you could beat the person next to you. The most I've ever done is 66. It's a lot. It is a lot. Um, one of the things that I like to do at the museum or when we're traveling and, and doing this activity with our Science on the Go program is to bring a magnifying glass and that's because, and hopefully I'll be able to show you. Let's see, let me see, there's my penny. Ah. And you may not even need the magnifying glass right now. It looks like it's overflowed, but it actually hasn't yet. It was from the past try. But what happens is you start to see a dome shape of the water sticking together. Um, the more you get, the more, let's see if I can do a magnifying with it. I don't know if you can see that, that helps at all. A little bit. So you can start to see like a dome shape. And that is basically because um, the water molecules are sticking together. It's a hard concept for little ones to understand. So what I usually like to um, to tell them, it's, it's kind of like friends holding hands and they're holding hands and eventually it's being pulled apart, their hands, and eventually they just can't hold hands anymore. So, um, it's competitive sometimes. It's a fun one. Um, we do heads and tails for a reason. Um, with older kids, you can um, get them to start thinking about the surfaces themselves. So depending on, um, if you actually look at two pennies, one head, one tail, depending if it's the, um, the Lincoln Memorial or if it's the shield, they're different, um, they're different etchings on there. So it's going to affect the number of drops that you can get on there. So super fun. Tell me the number that you get. Again, 66 was the most I've ever gotten before. And once it spills over, then you just clear it off, start again. How many are you up to, Aiden? I'm just putting out the water now. Oh, okay. I got 26, 26 21. and 21. 21. So see if you can beat our numbers. Have fun with this. Um, again, surface water tension. Um, and again, anytime you use a dropper, it's great for our fine motor skills. So we will see you again tomorrow. Have fun with this one. Um, let us know the number you get and maybe take a picture of yourself and we will post it on our Facebook gallery page. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.